Hello guys, what's up? I am back again with another video and today in this video I will be showing you that how to install Dart on Windows machine and uh, later on I will show you that how to install Dart on Macintosh. So without any further delay, let's get started. First head on to the website of Git, download Git and according to your operating system download the version. My, mine is Windows version so just click here and the latest version will be downloaded in your laptop. After downloading it keep it somewhere safe. I have already downloaded it to save time and after downloading it download Visual Studio code and download the stable version because it is necessary to download the stable version because uh, the development version might get crashed during development okay and uh, don't worry I will be giving all the links in the description after downloading it just click on this download button and VS code will get downloaded I have downloaded it beforehand to save time now just let's open the Dart official website and just click get Dart. We will be using setup wizard to install Dart so click on it. Install using a setup wizard. I will also mention the Dart's official website in the description so don't worry. And after that just click Dart SDK installer for Windows just click on it. The new tab or fair fresh page in page will open and, ju and just click on get dart this one stable version and I have previously installed it to save time. So, so after you have done all the downloads, then let's just install it one by one. Let's just install git first. It's opening. Next, 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 next. Now let's install VS Code simultaneously to save time. have to accept the license and make sure all the check boxes are clicked both are getting installed at the same time after that we will install dart we are installing git to get the feel of development like the linux and mac guys because I am also not a fan of command command prompt, so that's why I am using git. And you should know the usage of git because it is actually essential for it very much. So after installing VS Code, just launch it. And after launching it, Cut the home page and click the extensions tab. After clicking the extension tab, just type dart here. So dart is installing. In your case, maybe it is not installed previously. So install it. It will not take much time and uh, you can install other packages also that is dart import these are all the extension files you can import for uh, simplicity so after that i think our kit is also installed yeah okay it's done git is installed now let's install dart 
Okay, this setup. Except next, remember it, it is in program files. You can copy it also. And it depends upon your internet speed that how it will be downloaded. Fast forward this part because it will take time I think because my net is down I guess so that's why it's taking time so just jump onto the VS code and near it is reload required so click on it dart is installed actually it will take time it will take time So as you all can see download has been completed now it's installing the files i don't know how much time will it take let's wait it's fast Let's create a folder name. Exercise files. And let's open it. And in this video, I will also show you that how to open a folder in a VS code. Those who don't know, please follow up. And those who know, do it yourself. Uh, click on file which is present on the top and click on open folder. My folder is kept on desktop so I will go to desktop and then into dart exercise files is there and then open select the specific folder and then press enter and then again select folder there will open check out this yes installation is done now comes the most important part we have to edit the environmental variables so just look at the path of dart it is in c program files if i am not wrong open dart dart is dk open bin copy this path and go on to your search bar and write edit the system environment variables click on it it will open click on environmental variables then click on path and click edit and click on new and paste it and then press ok If you want to add here, you can do that. I think I have installed Dart previously also, so that's why it is here. No issue. It's 
so i think everything is fine now let's close this and let's write our first program as i've told you that i'll be using vs code for this entire course so you must have it dart has its file name and uh, ends with dot dot okay keep that in mind let me is the font size now i think it's clearly visible now just write it oh boy as i've told you that we will print the statements use uh, within the main function for now and write hello dot comma welcome and put a semicolon to terminate the sentence and don't forget to don't forget to save this by pressing control plus s it's saved now let's run it so if you you can open the terminal from here only by pressing control plus tilde or you can do it like this new terminal after it's open you just need to switch your powershell by clicking on it and uh, select the uh, select default shell and just change it to git bash or command prompt you can do command prompt it's not any problem because it will work just click on command prompt and kill terminal by clicking on the dustbin and now click on terminal new terminal and then write dot hello dot 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 it's running hello dot comma welcome now if you just want to modify press ctrl plus s to save it and then again execute the same command see so uh, i want to tell you that i have created a whatsapp group i will give the group link into the description join it and if you have any kind of doubt post it there i will see to it and uh, stay safe due to coronavirus and uh, have a great day ahead thank you for watching this video if you really like this video comment down and like this video share this video subscribe the channel and if you have any kind of doubts please ask me on instagram or dm me or ask me in linkedin and uh, all the exercise files that is all the code that i'll be writing through the entire course it will be available on my github my username is shayan nath so go and follow up there and every file will be there stay tuned thank you